fellow humans, welcome to another episode of A Marvelous Melbourne, which is not a series that I have named, but uh, in this episode I will be showing you some other cute, nice aesthetic spots around Melbourne that you may not initially find upon first Google search. Um, and it's awesome that a bunch of these spots have different aesthetics, so let's go. Safety. Please remember to hold on. Um, so first of all, we've got this really, really cute, nice little place to sit in front of Southern Cross Station. So it's really super easy to get to, and it's just like a relaxing time out from the hustle bustle of the city. Oh, look, it's so cute. I did not know we had a robotic bubble tea machine in Melbourne, but here we do. This may seem like a weird one, but the Spencer Street Bridge, because look at this view, it's really nice. Um, and you've got these theme bobs, and you've just got a general really nice view. Um, look, over there, there's a police doing a meet and greet, a fan meeting you could call it, but as long as they're not here, I guess, it's a pretty nice place to hang out. More on and around the Spencer Street Bridge. Uh, a Medibank place. Um, I'm not entirely sure if you're allowed to enter this place or not, but it's really pretty, so. Also, while I was uh, trying to find Southern Cross Station and just like getting screenshots for all of this, um, I found this peculiar little thing. Uh, you know, this this is Southern Cross Station. This is the actual Southern Cross Station. You click on it, it shows all of the lines, but then there is this fake Southern Cross Station and it also says it's like a government office. Um, which just isn't true. This is not Southern Cross Station. So just if you're like a tourist in Melbourne or something, if you see Southern Cross Station over here, anywhere near Flagstaff, like the closest station there is Flagstaff. Um, anywhere near this like Northern area, any sort of Southern Crossy things, that is not real. Real Southern Cross is over here. It is next to the Marvel Stadium very hard to miss um also it has a very unique architectural design so when you get there you'll probably be like what is that see real southern cross do not get confused so i know this doesn't seem quite as impressive but it's a lot of cute places here The key to exploring Melbourne is just having the ability, having the strength, the confidence to walk into random building or building adjacent things and just finding gorgeous things as a result. Look at this place. Beyond gorgeous. Beautiful. Um, this is honestly giving me kind of like QVB vibes from Sydney. You know, like staircase, um, the elevator goes up and it's just so gorgeous. Look at that window. Oh my God. Look at that. And this yard is like closed today, but like it's actually a gorgeous little 
church in a church courtyard. Melbourne Central. Now we all love Melbourne Central. This is the lower ground floor, I believe it's called, of Melbourne Central. But basically, you just have to go down as far down as you can go, I guess. Um, and it's like super vibey here, especially in the mornings, uh, which is the time that I get to explore the most. This is a super cute area. I love it so much. There's also access from Supre down there. So yeah, adorable. Across the road from Melbourne Central, we have the Emporium. Uh, and on the tippity toppeth floor of the Emporium, we've got this really cute uh, food court area. And it's also got like, I would say they're really nice views, but like honestly, to me, who sees this a lot, they're just kind of mediocre views uh there's definitely better views out there but it's still a decent nice place and again in the mornings when no one's there cute this table is out of order smell a tiny bit um can't quite put my finger on what it smells like but it's not great from this little courtyard in the queen victoria building you can move out onto this sort of alley which technically heads east ish um and it's super cute there's obviously a lot of places to eat here uh which is amazing um that is one of the best things about melbourne there's so much food and it's so good and lastly i wanted to add pretty trains uh specifically old v lines they are super cute vibey and just sitting inside them with those curtains and just they're super old timey and all um the only problem is that you obviously can't choose which train you get but still nice place to sit if you can find one <laughs> 